There we go. Got the mic on. Alrighty then. So, I believe this may be the last episode for the Tomb Raider original 1996 edition playthrough. Pretty sure this is the last level. Um, we've got the last boss fight, which we're about to get stuck right into. Um, yeah, so we're pretty much at the end of the game. So let's get stuck right in, get this game completed, and then we can talk a little about the next game we're going to be playing. Alrighty, just stick the sound on for this. Looks like we've got everything all set up. Right, here we go. Last part, final boss battle. I believe this is the final boss battle. Either that or it's like a mini boss before the last fight, but let's get stuck right in. Gonna want my best gear for this. Might as well go all out. Oh my. What is that? That's sick. Oh dear. <laughs> that thing just cornered me. Let's try that again. Alright, can't be getting cornered by this thing. Come on, we got this. Basically, gotta run circles around this thing. Ah, oh, this thing is freakish. Was that woman like talking about this thing being like the perfection of humanity or something? Why is it whenever somebody perfects what humanity is gonna look like, it is a freakish horror show? Oh my goodness! It's a nasty flesh golem thing. I mean, like, don't get me wrong, this thing is, you know, a lot hardier than your average human being. But I don't think anyone's going to be lining up to be turned into one of these things. Now that thing was a bullet sponge. Let's see. Am I just trying to escape from this horrid, horrid place now? Weird. I know, right? You know, good old days of uh, PlayStation 1 bosses where literally all the boss is is a bullet sponge. They don't have the fancy mechanics from the more modern games. To be fair though, I think some PlayStation 1 games do get into the realm of um, more mechanic based fights. Just going to take us a little while to get there I think. I can't remember if the second one, if there's like a mechanic based fight. But you do have to do some fancy stuff to escape from the uh, the final the final area that you fight them in. Alright, where am I going? Good old squishy doors. You have to time this one right, otherwise I'm gonna fall through the floor. There we go. Easy as pie. 
because there's a choose your own adventure now. I have to try and decide which place to go, which isn't going to kill me. Let's go to the left. Got lava pool. Push this, see where it goes. And again. Once more? No. Okay. Maybe if I go down the other way, I can step on top of it and it'll take me somewhere. Let's go and find out, shall we? Either that or I supposed to have pushed it the other direction, which I think is probably what I had to do. Live and learn. I mean, the pacing's all off now. Feel like. What's that supposed to be? Let's pull this out. And again. Looks like I may have to go up there. I think that's the way out. Down here we go. And then, okay, so now I push this out, right? Yep, there we go. Now I've got to run back into that room. Do, 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 do. And then I think just go ahead and push this over here to where the doorway is, and then do I kind of like jump over this to? get around that door. I don't know. Maybe... And then a switch. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. Looks like we're getting out of the old Atlantean tunnels and back into this old like cave system that we were in earlier. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a jump over here. And then just sort of keep doing that. Doing my best not to fall into the lava and turn into barbecued Lara. Whoop. There we go. I think I'm gonna have to try and get a little lucky with this jump. I think those little sputters are actually injuring me. Huh. That's a, that's a new mechanic, I think. And right at the end of the game. Interesting place to have a completely brand new mechanic, but okay. Well, that's going to make me regret life. Right, so what's going to be throwing all of these dangerous obstacles at me now is to try and make me regret my life. Oh man, they're going to do it again? This whole thing is going to get boring pretty quick. Is it going to do it a third time? Or do I actually get to leave this death trap?
Right, so I'm falling through the floor here. You know, as you do. Ouch! There was nothing for me to even, like, grab onto. So... <sighs> Maybe there was, I don't know. I, I'm just thinking to myself, like, if I didn't have full health and had no med -E packs, would that have been the end of the game? Hmm. Well, I guess we're back here. Grab ourselves the artifact again. Um, I don't know, is that going to activate another cutscene? It might do. Let me see. Is there a way for me to set things up here? Because I really want to. Okay. So you won't be able to see chat. But you might be able to see the cutscene if I set up the stream like this. So let's go for it and find out. Well, um. Okay, that's what I had to do. I thought I was picking the thing up, but apparently I was destroying it. Oh boy. That was not the right way to go. I think I remember seeing a doorway over here last time. Ooh. Ah. I'm pretty sure this is like the how the ending of Oh my goodness. I go <laughs> I feel like this is exactly how the ending of like Tomb Raider 2 was you kind of had to run for your life to try and get out of the place oops Okay. Let's try this again. So, I'm obviously not going that way to get out. Okay, well we know where we're going. We're kind of getting in the right location here. You know, I could probably work some magic here and get the get the chat involved. Let me come on. There we go. Look at that. We can see chat and see the game just in case there's a cutscene. I want us to be able to watch the final cutscene live. I don't want to have to deal with all of this nonsense that we've been dealing with, with me playing things separately. Okay, that's nice. Save a bit of health there. Okay. We know where we're going. We've got this. Let's 
just do incremental saves each time we get to the next place. And ship. Right, we're gonna have to do a, a backflip once we roll over this next area over here. Not roll, slide. But we got this. At the end of the game, we can do this. Everything we've encountered up until this point has trained us for this very moment. This is the true final boss. OMG. This is really digging my life into my own hands here. I think there was boulders rolling after me just before. Wow, this game is really pulling out all the stops. I thought it was trying to kill me earlier. Oh, it was really just warming me up for this moment. Scared. Oops. <laughs> Oh, uh, why are there health kits and ammunition over there? I don't want that. That means there's things to kill. And if there's things to kill, that means that wasn't the last boss. <laughs> this is so dangerous. Okay, what are we dealing with over here? Many, many things to make me regret my life. <sighs> now I'm gonna have to outrun this boulder, I take it. Okay, so I think a lot of these things are just like here to distract me into killing myself. This is a cheeky final level. It's like, hey, yeah, you you can you can have the health kit, but it'll cost you the rest of your health. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> like, I thought I had anxiety playing the earlier levels. I think this is just causing me even more anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> uh, death. That is all I am now. Yeah. Why? Why did I pull up? Why am I like this? Why do I do this to myself? <sighs> Just need to hold. Yeah. I did it again. It's force of habit. I'm sorry. I'm forcing you to watch me die again and again and again. I'll have to uh, get like my video editor to just put a compilation of all of my deaths together once we're at the end of this game. No. Not these fire things again. No. Oh, I hated that last time. I didn't even 
I thought it was going to turn off. Apparently I'm just jumping over these things. What? Okay. They're not even on now. I'm so confused. How do I get out? Or am I trapped in this water forever? Is this my life now? Is this my destiny? What? Yeah, I'm just... I don't have to climb up again. I'm just going to reload the save. Just going to reload the save. Okay. I don't even know why these things aren't on. This is so weird. Is it actually on? What the heck? I'm so confused. I don't know what was going on there. But I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to roll with it. Ugh. What nastiness is this? Why do you dislike me, sir? Urgh. That's going to be some janky timing that I have to do here. I did it. Second try, that's not bad. I'm, I'm getting good at this game. No, what? I didn't even have to do that? That was a secret? Really? 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 How am I even going to get there without... You know, I feel like you can swan dive in this and I have no idea how to do it. And I wish I did. Oh well. I don't need those bullets. I've got so many bullets I literally don't even know how to what, what to do with them. I've just hoarded them. I probably have more health kits right now if I... Oh! hadn't hoarded them. Thank you. Like, I don't even know if that... Is that just a normal enemy? Or is that like a super massive... Oh my... Oh, it's her! This is the real boss battle right here. Where are you? Come on, can't touch this. This is like the the super rolly technique. Look at that. I just like those apples. Got any goodies? No. Okay. She's dead. I win. You can't bump off me and my brood so easy, Lara. Well, I just did, didn't I? How many times do I have to teach you this lesson? Alright. Now are you dead? I'd like to leave, please. save here. Okay, so I think that was supposed to be the final boss battle, but that was a lot easier than the last one. Don't know about you, but fighting a massive flesh colossus which can kill you in two hits is a lot more difficult than... Oops. 
than a than a crazy woman who just uh, be quick if I just reload the save that you can just dodge by somersaulting in the air. She basically had the exact same attack patterns as all of the other all of the other enemies in the game, which I've already figured out the best way to avoid getting hit by them. So that was not anything really unique. Almost a little disappointed. <sighs> Don't know if I should be relieved. If that was the final fight, but uh, this last jumping bit is going to be the end of me. What's wrong with me? Did I not recover? Well, I'm still still feeling a bit ill since last episode. But almost at the end of this game. You know, it, it's been kind of it's been a uh, it's been kind of nice coming back and playing this old game. I suppose the nice thing about playing a game years later is especially with the more modern games, you've got all of your updates, all of your patches have been released. Um, if the community has had to step in and fix anything, you've got access to those community patches. Um, you've got all of the DLC and expansion packs. So you just kind of, you have access to the full experience rather than playing a game and then, you know, six months later going back to the game when you've forgotten the controls, you've forgotten, you know, the entire story. Um, just so you can play a DLC. And if you hadn't bought the game when it first came out, you also get the game pretty cheap too. Oh, there we go. Because like I got like the all of the Tomb Raider games real cheap. They did like a a Tomb Raider Square Enix sale or something, and I got them all of these games at like a massive discount. Some developers, though, you just, you don't really want to. Like, I've never been a massive fan of DLC in some circumstances, because I like, I like having more content for a game to play, but the worst I've ever encountered, and, you know, you, you can argue and say there are worse, worse scenarios that people have experienced, but for me personally, it was Fable 2. Or Fable 3. I think it was Fable 2. Literally, that game. They brought the game out, and it was like day one on the Xbox Store. People could see that all of the DLC was available. And I think this is the end, so I'm just going to finish my trailer thought. And that all of the DLC was available, and it wasn't like placeholder names or anything for the DLC they were going to be releasing. People, I'm, I might be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure that people had found out that they literally cut pieces out of the game so that they could sell it later on as DLC. They were already in the game. They just literally cut those pieces out. They accidentally put them on the store day one instead of waiting three or four months down the line to give you the rest of your game that you had to pay extra money for. And it was just... It was really scummy. It was the most disgusting thing I've ever seen a game developer do. And the issue was is that when you did have the game patched up to the latest patch version that they were willing to support the game at, the D having that uh, that DLC in the game actually created game-breaking bugs in the game. So not only did they ruin... Not only where they just wanting more money from you they actually ruined their own product by cutting part of it out and gluing it back in at a later date oh i was so mad anyway let's watch this last cutscene then hopefully you can see it i'm hoping fingers crossed still sliding 
Yay! I should have done this from the beginning so you can see the cutscenes. Big explosion. Does this mean I get a free yacht now? Because I'm pretty sure that was the, that woman's yacht that I just killed. Well, that was, that was my ending cutscene. And we got some credits. There doesn't seem to be any music on the credits, though. But yeah, I like uh, I like the kind of like the concept art here around here. So yeah, that was that was Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider one, nineteen ninety six, the classic Tomb Raider series. Um, yeah, considering this is kind of like the the open the open games here. I need to. Uh... Welcome to my home. I'll take you on a guided tour. Sorry, that the credit screen was actually. Remarkably, uh, remarkably small, but yeah, considering that was the kind of one of the uh, what do they call it? Like the one of the flagship games for the PlayStation. That's one of the the games that really helped launch the PlayStation as one of the uh, you know the big boys on the scene. It was you know really rather enjoyable experience. Um, Mechanics obviously not as fleshed out as some of the the later games like in Tomb Raider 2 you have access to a few more things like crawling around and I think in Tomb Raider 2 that you actually can do underwater combat but yeah that was a good game uh, I enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed watching it uh, the next game that we are going to be playing is going to be um, I think it's just called Spider-Man I don't think it's called Amazing Spider-Man it might be called The Amazing Spider-Man. Um, but it is the uh, Spider-Man um, that was playable on the PlayStation 1. So we are going to be playing that next on our series. Because we like, I like to focus on more of the, the retro games. Trying to play those games which gave me a lot of nostalgia from uh, back in my formative years as a, a wee lad. <laughs> in in the british isles so yeah that's going to be the next game i uh, hope you'll tune in we'll make some good content for you sorry today's a bit of a a smaller day we're cutting things off at the half hour mark but i just the only thing that's left to play in tomb raider one is the the extra uh levels which they put in in the unfinished business kind of uh add-on content cut content but it's a bit janky, um, so I'm not really that interested in playing it. It was it wasn't added in until Tomb Raider three, I think, is when it was actually re released in Tomb Raider one as some extra content. Um, but yeah, it's a bit weird. Um, the last, so the first two levels take place a couple of years later in the future from the end of Tomb Raider one. Um, or a couple of months, something like that. The last two levels take place immediately after Tomb Raider 1, so it's weird I'd launch it, I'd have access to no guns or anything, and then basically play through an extra two levels right after the, the pyramid that we had just left. And then restart it again just so I can play uh, the first two levels which take place later on it's it's kind of a mess so I'm just thinking we just skip past some janky levels um, and move on to the next game yeah so yeah next game is going to be Spider-Man I hope you'll all tune in for that don't forget to like and subscribe and to hit the bell notification icon and I look forward to seeing you on the next one